What if I told you that everything you thought you knew about dogs is wrong? Such as the belief that a dog's lick is a kiss, that one human year equals seven dog years, or that a dog's mouth is cleaner than a human's. We will reveal all the facts, beginning with one of the most common misconceptions is dogs' mouths are cleaner than humans. This myth has been debunked in a study published in the Journal of Clinical Microbiology. While dogs' mouths do have some bacteria that are different from ours, they're not necessarily cleaner. Dogs explore the world with their mouths, which means their mouths can harbor a variety of bacteria. So, it's always a good idea to keep their dental hygiene in check and wash your hands after interacting with them. Here's a common myth about dog's nose is a reliable indicator of health. Many dog owners believe that a dog's nose can reliably indicate its health status. The common assumption is that a cold, wet nose signals good health, while a dry, warm nose might suggest illness. Moisture and temperature of a dog's nose can vary due to several factors unrelated to health. The dog's nose might be dry or warm after a nap, during colder weather, or after exposure to heat. Conversely, a nose that is wet and cool might just be a result of recent activity or environmental conditions. Another myth is dogs eat grass because they're sick. Dogs might eat grass because they're bored or anxious, similar to how humans fidget when they're bored or anxious. One study found that only 25% of dogs that eat grass regularly vomit afterward, and only 10% of dogs showed signs of illness before eating grass. However, if your dog is eating grass frantically or doing so all the time, you might want to take them to the vet for a checkup. Myth number four is a wagging tail always means a happy dog. This one's tricky. A wagging tail doesn't always mean your dog is happy. The context of the wagging is crucial. Research from the University of Padua found that a wagging tail could indicate a range of emotions, including anxiety or aggression, depending on the tail's position and movement. A slow wagging tail might signal insecurity, while a high, fast wagging tail often indicates excitement or happiness. Here's a common myth about dogs that many people believe to be true, the idea that one human year equals seven dog years. This myth likely originated because people observe that humans generally live around 70 years and dogs live around 10 years. However, this is quite inaccurate. Small dogs can often live up to 15 years, whereas some larger breeds might only live to around eight years. Additionally, dogs mature much faster than humans. According to a chart from the American Kennel Club, the first year of a dog's life is roughly equivalent to 15 human years. After that, each year of a dog's life equals about five human years. Another myth is all dogs are natural swimmers. Not all dogs are born swimmers. While some breeds, like Labrador Retrievers, are known for their love of water. Others, such as Bulldogs or Dachshunds, can struggle with swimming due to their body structure. A study from the Journal of Veterinary Behavior highlights that swimming ability varies greatly among individual dogs, so always supervise your dog around water and ensure they're comfortable. This brings us to the next myth. When dogs lick you, it's their way of kissing you. I hate to break it to you, but if your pup is licking your face, they might actually be trying to get you to regurgitate your food so they can eat it. This behavior is similar to what wild wolves, foxes, and coyotes do to their mother when she returns from a hunt. So, take it as a compliment. It's like they see you as their mother. But that's not the only reason dogs lick you, and it's not the only gross reason either. Dogs are attracted to salt and stinky things, so if you're sweaty, they might be trying to lick your sweat. This makes sense in a slightly off-putting way, 
considering my dog licks me much more than my wife. Your dog might also lick you to clean off leftover food from your hands, or face, or to groom you. And, like we all hope, they might genuinely be trying to show you affection. Another myth is you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Age is not a barrier to learning new tricks. Studies, including one from Frontiers in Veterinary Science, show that older dogs can learn new commands and skills, though they might require more time and patience compared to younger dogs. So don't give up on teaching your senior dog new things. It's a great way to keep their minds active. Next common myth is dogs only dream of chasing squirrels. While it's fun to think that dogs only dream of their favorite activities, a study published in Current Biology suggests that dogs experience dreams much like humans, including processing daily experiences and emotions. You might catch your pup twitching or paddling their legs while they're in REM sleep, a sign they're dreaming. Next myth is Dogs eat poop because they're lacking nutrients. Coprophagia, or eating poop, is often more behavioral than nutritional. Research from the Journal of Applied Animal Welfare Science suggests that dogs might eat feces out of boredom, anxiety, or even because they've learned it from other dogs. Ensuring proper nutrition, mental stimulation, and training can help reduce this behavior. Here's a next common myth is only male dogs hump. But female dogs can be just as guilty. Here's why. Humping isn't always a dog's behavior. It can be a way to display social dominance or simply an expression of excitement when a dog doesn't know how else to behave. But it's not just humping that's thought to be exclusive to male dogs. Many people believe only male dogs lift their legs to pee and mark their territory. However, similar to humping, female dogs can also engage in this behavior. They might lift their legs to mark their territory when they're in heat, signaling to males, or simply to establish their own space. Size may also play a role, with smaller females often lifting their legs more than larger females, regardless of whether you have a male or female dog. Another myth is, dogs are completely loyal and will always be obedient. While dogs are known for their loyalty, it's important to remember that they have their own personalities and preferences. Research from the Journal of Experimental Psychology reveals that dogs, like humans, have individual temperaments and can sometimes be more or less responsive based on their mood and training. This next myth affects every pup that dogs need to chew on bones. While many dogs enjoy chewing, and it offers benefits like relaxation and dental cleaning, giving your dog real bones can lead to serious accidents. Bones can splinter and injure your dog's mouth, throat, or stomach. They may also be too hard and break your dog's teeth, or if boiled, they might break apart and cause choking or blockages in the stomach. If you don't provide your dog with a suitable chew toy, they'll likely find something on their own, something you probably don't want them chewing, like your shoes. Next myth is, dogs don't feel guilt. While dogs may exhibit behaviors that seem like guilt, it's often more about their response to your body language or tone. They're highly attuned to our emotions and might react accordingly. Another myth is, Dogs can't get depressed. Dogs can experience mental health issues, like depression, especially during significant changes or loss. Signs of depression in dogs include changes in appetite, sleep patterns, or behavior. Next common myth is, dogs understand human speech the way we do. Dog behaviorist and author of Dog Sense explains that while dogs can learn to recognize specific words and commands, they do not understand human speech in the way that humans do. Dogs are capable of associating certain sounds with actions, objects, or outcomes through conditioning and repetition. For example, 
A dog might learn to associate the word sight with the action of sitting down, but this recognition is based on sound patterns and cues rather than a deep understanding of language. Here's another myth that might surprise you. A tired dog is a good dog. Let me ask you this. Is a tired toddler a good toddler? My nephew just turned two, and by the end of his birthday party, he was certainly tired, but he was absolutely not behaving well. Similarly, when you exhaust your puppy physically, they can have meltdowns too and might start getting the zoomies or biting you uncontrollably. Instead of merely wearing your dog out, provide them with a balanced mix of physical and mental exercise. Combine puzzle toys like frozen Kongs or interactive toys with your walks and games of fetch and tug. Now, the next few myths involve more than just your dog being tired or not. Our last myth is spaying or neutering will change a dog's personality, clarifies that spaying and neutering may lead to some behavioral changes, but these are not usually indicative of a change in personality. For example, spaying or neutering can reduce certain hormone-driven behaviors such as territorial marking or aggression related to mating. However, these changes are more about the reduction of specific behaviors rather than an overall shift in the dog's core personality. 